Welcome back to another video, Anthony here. In this video we are going to go over the best 5 mice, in my opinion, chosen by cost, shape, weight, durability and design. The first mouse on this list is the Razer Death Adder V2, which costs $69.99, a mouse considered by many to be the best mouse right now. It has the Razer Focus Plus optical sensor whose sensitivity can go up to 20,000 dpi. The mouse is connected via a braided cable, the so-called Speedflex cable by Razer. It has 8 programmable buttons and can be saved up to 5 profiles, which means if you have different settings preferences between different games you can alter easily. But if your hands are too small for such mouse, you can always get the Razer Death Air V2 Mini, which is practically the same mouse but smaller. I think it's an outstanding decision by Razer to create a mouse for different size preferences. The design of the mouse is simplistic and fits into a person's hand. Next up on the list we have the world's lightest mouse, the glorious Model O. It comes in three different colors, black, white and pink. You can also choose to make it glossy. It's got RGB strips on the sides and also has the honeycomb shell. The mouse has six different buttons and a DPI of up to 12,000. It costs $49.99. Third on this list is the HyperX Pulsefire RAID mouse. This particular mouse has 11 programmable buttons, customizable RGB lighting and it's got the premium Pixar sensor with up to 16,000 DPI. The mouse is connected via a 1.8 meter long braided cable with USB 2.0. The colors of the RGB logo on it can be customized with the HyperX and Genuity software. I haven't made a review for a HyperX mouse before and the Genuity software. To check it out, click on the pop-up in the top right corner. It is also compatible with all the consoles too. PS4, Xbox. Fourth mouse that I am going to talk about today is the Steel Series Rival 3 mouse, the best looking mouse of all on this list in my opinion. It costs somewhere around $30, depends on where you get it from. On the mouse there is a RGB logo and an RGB underglow which can be lit up in multiple colors. The RGB lighting has three zones which can individually be programmed in the Steel Series engine software. The body is in matte black plastic and the sensor has a 200 to 8500 CPI range. One letdown is the non-braided cable, but considering the price, this makes for an overall great mouse. Last but not least is the Razer Naga Trinity, a mouse which is very unique. The mouse costs $99.99 but definitely makes up for the price. I could rant forever about this mouse but I will just sum it up quickly. The main reason I chose this mouse and the reason it is so unique is the interchangeable side plates. You can choose between 2, 7 and 12 programmable buttons on the side of your mouse. If you are into some kind of MOBA games or any other game that has repetitive actions, this mouse is for you. The mouse has a 5G optical sensor with up to 16,000 dpi. And of course for a mouse at this price point, it has a braided cable. There is a pro version of this mouse, it costs $150. It is practically the same mouse, the difference being that it is a wireless mouse with up to 150 hours of battery life. You can connect your mouse via Razer Hyperspeed wireless for latency free gaming, Bluetooth for longer battery life and you can also play while it's charging when connected to your PC. That is it for today's video, please make sure you let me know in the comments down below which mouse is your favorite and if you enjoyed the video make sure you like and subscribe, it really means a lot to me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!